No lumps, no lumps, no lumps, no lumps. Check it out. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Romel Bruno. I'm a chef, an independent artist here in Seattle, Washington. You're in my kitchen for the second episode of Childhood Eats, a show where I take childhood classics, things from my memories, and recreate them and flip the script and reimagine them in my own liking. If this didn't give it away, we're gonna be taking Hamburger Helper and putting it to a whole nother level. We're gonna be making our own fresh pasta. And the pasta we're gonna be making today is cavatelli. We're gonna be making our own quick cheese sauce. We'll be grinding our own beef. We're gonna make this humble box of noodles and dry cheese sauce into something totally different. We're gonna bust open the box and we're gonna cook this one up and do a little taste test and see what we like, what we dislike, and what I'm gonna be doing. You'll need a box, package of hamburger helper, two cups of whole milk, cup and a half of hot water, and just a pound of packaged ground beef. Hamburger Helper was first introduced in 1971 by the General Mills Company in response to high beef prices. They wanted to be able to stretch out a pound of ground beef for you and your family so you could feed your family because times were hard in the 70s, all right? The Beatles, they were going through it. People were taking drugs and acid, running amok in the streets, crying. Bad police is still going on today. They just wanted to simplify it when you were at the dinner table, you know, and stretch it out. But look, I'm red in the face and I'm hungry. So let's get into it. I got the pan preheating right here. I got my beef. I'm gonna pre-break it up a little bit with my hand. I'm chopping it up. Oh yeah. I drain some of the fat and I put it back on the stove. So I'm gonna pop this guy open right now. It says cheeseburger sauce mix. Put some noodles in there. The milk. The water. Woo! That's pink. That's pink powder, bro. The cheese color. I haven't made this in years, so I'm in amazement right now. I'm like, Ooh. I mean, it looks like instant mac and cheese, right? I'm gonna just mix that up. It's coming up to a boil right now. So I'm gonna reduce the heat and I'm gonna cover it for 12 minutes and stir occasionally until it's done. The sauce definitely thickened up and it's looking good. These are like fat macaroni noodles, so they definitely expanded when cooking. Cheese sauce is hugging it. I'm not gonna front, this smells so good. I have this unctuous bowl of pre-packaged hamburger helper. It smells really good. The noodles is looking thick, looking like Cardi B. <laughs> so I followed the package instructions step by step, and honestly, it smells better than it tastes. It doesn't taste like horrible, but this could definitely use onion powder, garlic powder, and some salt. And I think adding all that liquid definitely diluted the seasoning pack. And maybe it was just we didn't follow the instructions when we were a kid. <laughs> yeah, it's not what I remember it to be. So things I want to change. I definitely want to add some more flavor to it. I like the consistency of it. I love the way the noodles look in it. Ground beef tastes pretty fine. I definitely just want to like season it up a bit. Mm. That's cheeseburger macaroni for you. So while I'm eating this, I'm gonna tell you some more facts about Hamburg Help that I've learned recently. So in 2013, General Mills decided to change the branding of Hamburger Helper. They took out the hamburger and it was just helper for a while. That's the helping hand mom gets with Hamburger Helper. And they came up with all these different flavors that I showed you earlier. It's so like tuna, chicken, taco. They just diversify all their things. And also, they changed their demographic that they were targeting because they're living in the past, bro. From housewives and the women with children who had to like make dinner to sweaty single men who were lonely. And they found out that they were eating this more than someone making it for their family, which makes total sense. It's not the 70s anymore, huh? But this is okay. You know, we about to, we about to make it crazy, good, and delicious. I ain't gonna lie, I am gonna put this away. I'm gonna eat this. And then we're gonna get to get to the real stuff. First things first, cavatelli. 
We're gonna get four cups of flour, get a medium sized bowl, and just sift that inside there, making sure there's no lumps. No lumps, no lumps, no lumps, no lumps. Check it out. We don't want that. Then we're gonna put two tablespoons of salt, mix that into the flour and incorporate that. You do not have to sift your salt. We're gonna make a well in the bowl, add two tablespoons of olive oil, and then we're gonna add our water. We'll start to incorporate the flour into the liquid ingredients. And we'll just knead, slowly incorporating the flour into it. And you can add more water slowly. Once we do that, we'll take it out of the bowl and we'll knead it for eight minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. Wrap the dough in plastic wrap and we'll let it rest for half an hour at room temperature. All right, so after the dough is rested for about 30 minutes, we're gonna lightly dust the tabletop with some flour and lightly dust the top of the cavatelli dough with some flour. We're gonna cut that in half. It's gonna wanna flour the bottom of it and then use your rolling pin to just push out, turn the dough, push out, until you get a rough shape of a rectangle that's about half an inch thick. You're gonna to wanna to cut that into strips. And once you cut it into strips, you're gonna to wanna to do half an inch rectangular pieces. You're gonna get your capitelli board and lightly flour that. So you got your board. What you're gonna to wanna to do is lay it down and you're gonna use your finger to push against it. And then your other thumb over it. You can also do it with a fork and it's more or less the same idea. And then you can pop that into the freezer or you can let it sit out and just air dry slightly until you get all your other ingredients together. All right, B, they hooked me up with a nice two and a half pound chuck roast, boneless. I'm gonna start cutting it into slices and then I'll lay those slices down and cut them into strips. And then from the strips, we'll cut them into cubes. throw them in the grinder, and I use my coarse die. And then you just grind it up. So I have all the ingredients ready for my rendition of Hamburger Helper. Got a pound of uh, ground beef that I ground myself. Some chicken stock, half cup. This isn't a paprika bottle, but this is onion powder. I promise you. Some garlic powder. Some shredded cheese, I shredded myself, some sharp cheddar, about three cups of that. Got some sour cream dough, some chopped up onion, half a chopped up yellow onion, and some garlic mixed together. So, let's get it going. I'm gonna start with this. On a pan that's on medium high heat, add a little salt for that. You wanna have your cavatelli to the side, ready to go. A uh, medium sized pot of salted water in the back. We're gonna add our ground beef and we're gonna brown that up. While your meat is semi pink, you're gonna wanna add your cavatelli if you're adding it fresh. It should take about two to five minutes to cook and they'll float up. Half a cup of chicken stock. You add your sour cream and you'll mix that up on low heat just to get that sauce going. It smells like box hamburger helper. Mm -hmm. And then once that starts to get to the bowl, throw your pasta in it, and you'll increase the heat to medium hot. You add your shredded cheese. And your French wrap, and you'll mix that up. 
and then you'll turn the heat down. You'll let it reduce for three minutes so it starts to thicken up. Oh yeah, kid. It reduced for about three minutes and we got all that liquid out of that. See what we got working. This is the moment we've been waiting for. We have regular hamburger helper. You saw me taste it. Put that down. Ooh, she's been waiting. Look at that. Ooh, thick, steamy, chewy pasta. It's al dente. Really good. Now cavatelli really hugs the sauce. You see that? Get that green onion in there. That sharp cheddar is kicking ass, taking names. And we love that. I'm gonna keep it a buck, was it worth it? An elevating hamburger helper. Yes, it was definitely worth it. I can go back to this, but I would definitely have to zhuzh it up and put a little bit more spice, make it a little nice. No, I'll never hate on hamburger helper. This helped me. In, in my lowest times as a kid. It was some of the first things I would cook for myself growing up. So this will always hold a dear place in my heart. Now that I'm a grown ass man, I think I'll be making it from scratch when I can. I wanna thank you guys for watching for episode two. Put like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what, you, what I should make next. Let me know down there, hit my line guys. I love you, delicious, I love you too.